decided to come to this corner that I showed you about. I'm on the entrance of the 5 Freeway off of River Road in Eugene, Oregon. And I decided to come out and protest today against the nuclear lie. I didn't bring any handouts. It's pretty cold. No one's really walking. I don't know if you can see the cold stairs, but people are wondering what kind of freak I am. Which, you know, my own children are asking the same questions, so maybe that's a valid point. Uh, but the bottom line of this is I'm super sick of the lies. The lies, the lies. How many people have I met in Eugene who said, My dad worked at Hanford. He died when he was 62. My, all of my family has thyroid problems. We grew up near Columbia Generating Station. I mean, the stories go on and on, and everybody just lets the frickin' nuclear lies continue. No one's demanding the truth. I don't get it. I'm completely sick of it. We need to, uh, you know what? Whatever it is, we're stuck with nuclear. So we need to get scientific research, real research, not nuclear lies, not more of them lying about what it causes. The 90% rule has to end. John Goffman was a highly respected nuclear scientist. Highly respected nuclear scientist. You know, that's where I came up with the 90% rule. He said they lie about the cause of nuclear by about 90% and deny that radiation causes any problems. That's what their research showed for the people of Nagasaki and Hiroshima. and the lies, demand our, our Congress people to put money into research, independent research, without some benefactor owning the frickin' university and saying what they can and cannot study and what the results are going to be. Come on! We're talking life or death of the planet now. This is the bullshit's over with. We're already, in 10 years, we're gonna, people are going to be dropping off like flies from cancer. They already are, but if you think it's bad now, wait for 10 years. And you know what's going to be the worst part? It's the people that don't die, they're not going to have many kids because it causes sterility. So we're going to have a seriously different planet already. And it is time to end the nuclear lies. We've already lost enough. We're harming our planet. Americans, people of the world, wake up. Demand your elected representatives to do the work on behalf of the planet, not the corporations. I've often said this. We're in the middle of World War III. It's Mother Earth versus the corporations. And so far, the corporations are winning. We need to end it. We have some elected officials that can stand up to them. They can't murder all of our elected officials. I mean, that's just the way it is. That, that, they're just not gonna. So we can stop it somewhat. And we can get scientific money into discovering how to cure the contamination that nuclear radiation has already given us and is going to continue. You know what the half-life of plutonium is? 77,000 years, something half-life. It starts to become half as bad in 77,000 years. So we are going to have plutonium in our oceans for a long time. High levels, higher than we've been. This is the problem. Fukushima still has not stopped. Hanford still is a gigantic mess. Bechtel poured 40 miles of unlined trenches, radioactive material, directly into the groundwater without lining it illegally. They're considered the experts, and they contaminated Hanford worse than it was before. And they're getting billions of our tax dollars, and there isn't jack we can do about it, unless we get involved. So, I'm making this video, and I'm going to post it up on YouTube, my YouTube channel again, Nuts for Art. I hope you spread this around. I'm going to make a creative comments, and, you know, just don't buy the nuclear lies. The World Health Organization is part of the nuclear lies. The nuclear N IAEA has supremacy over the World Health Organization. They can demand that anything they want not get published, which they've done many times in regards to treatment.
Chernobyl and now Fukushima. So the nuclear lies have just got to end.